What's up YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk to you guys about my first wholesale deal. And let me tell you, everyone that says that the hardest deal that you could ever get is your first wholesale deal, they are not lying to you. He ain't lying. All right, <laughs> the hardest deal to get is the first one. If you guys had to guess how long it took me to get my first wholesale deal, um, what do you think? How long do you think that took? Do you think it was three months? Do you think it was six months, nine months, or 12 months? Well, for those that thought 12 months, you are correct. <laughs> it almost took me a whole year before I was able to get my first wholesale deal. Damn! Damn! All right, and let me tell you something. I'm actually very proud of that statement um, because I know a lot of people that start in this business, start wholesaling, real estate, you're trying to be a realtor, whatever it is that you're trying to do, and they give up after three, four, six months max. They leave, they go out to do Forex, to do Monet, to do any other multi-level marketing business or anything that comes to their mind, but they don't persevere, they don't keep pushing through. And I've gotta tell you, um, before you start wholesaling, you need to make up your mind whether you're gonna make money in real estate, whether you're gonna make money in you know stocks, day trading, uh, or doing something else. You know, Good luck to you, whatever it is. I made up my mind before I started, um, and thankfully my husband was completely on board and is a great supporter, so shout out to you, babe. Um, but for me, basically, I, I knew it was going to be real estate and I knew wholesaling was going to be uh, the like entryway into my way of building wealth through real estate. And so that's why I never gave up. And I've got to say, I'm very um, thankful that I didn't give up. So I'm, I'm thankful. It taught me a lot about perseverance. But let's get down to the nitty and gritty, all right, about this deal. This lead, it came from cold calling. Initially, I started in my local market, but I kind of learned that my local market, while there is deals to be had here, it was just taking too long for me. I started cold calling in other virtual markets. So the market that I called where I got my first deal was in Missouri. Uh, and so in Missouri, what's funny about this is that I was calling in my market for about 10 months or something like that. And I started calling um, in August. August of this year, I started calling in Missouri. 10 or 11 days, I spoke to my person that turned into my first wholesale deal. They were very desperate to sell and proud of the fact that I was able to sell it. And the reason is because this person was canceled by not one, not two, but at least three other wholesalers that weren't able to get it to the finish line. Um, and because of that, she was she, she really didn't think I was gonna be able to get that to the finish line. When I saw this person's um, you know, genuine need or desire to, um, you know, to just get rid of this property that was just causing so much stress, so much headache, so much pressure in her own life. It actually pushed me to go above and beyond for her, and that's what I did. I reached all the different buyers that I knew in the area. I reached out to all other wholesalers. I didn't even care what I made at this point. I just wanted to make sure that I got the deal done. The way that I found my buyer, even though I'm not in that market, I started calling a bunch of realtors basically. That was kind of one of the last things that I did. I called a bunch of realtors. Luckily, I did find a, a realtor that had a buyer. They found the buyer and we were able to close within 45 days from the date that I actually initially contacted her. So I made about 4,000, no, not about, I made <laughs> $4,055 from this uh, deal and I'm very proud of it. Um, the, the seller was very happy. This first deal really taught me this business is not really just about making money. This business about, is about solving someone's problem and I heard it over and over and over again from all of the podcasts, from all the YouTube channel, everything that I watched. You don't really understand that until you experience it for yourself. And so I, that's what I learned in this in this deal is that I am in a business where I'm helping solve someone's problem, a problem they probably cannot solve themselves. If they could, that they wouldn't need me, right? So that's the value that I'm providing. I'm providing, I'm connecting all the dots to them. And I actually feel very, very proud that I was able to get her to the finish line. I was so thankful after that deal, a bunch of leads started just filling up my pipeline. I've gotta say, the first one is the hardest, but as long as you don't give up and you get to that first one, just make up in your head that you're gonna make your first wholesale deal and you'll get it, trust me. Don't give up, keep persevering. We're on the same boat, so don't give up. 
Anyways, if you guys want to keep hearing more about this, definitely recommend you follow me on all the socials. Oh, another thing that I wanted to point out is, well, uh, the beginning when I, for, when I got this deal, actually connected with someone from the same mentorship that I was a part of. He helped me, he actually had the property under contract prior to me. He gave me the pictures and the, the realtor, a lot of people say, well, if you're virtually wholesaling, how am I gonna get access to the property? Um, this property, she didn't even live in the state, so it was vacant and she didn't even have the door locked. That's just, that, that was just the, the truth. And so the realtor was able to just go in with her buyer and show it. Um, I, you know, I didn't even need to go and, you know, do a, a buyer showing like you typically would have to. So um, I got that done. It was closed with cash, no hard money or anything like that. But the hardest problem really came with the title company. Uh, title company seemed to be understaffed and, you know, really just needed a lot of help. So I was in constant communication with them, calling them every single day, making sure this deal was going to close. And what basically ended up happening is a uh, seller had to come in one day to sign the paperwork and then the buyer came in the following day to finalize it because we had two separate HUDs. So these are just, you know, different things to take, just to take note of. Uh, the title company does not always have everything under control and unless you're making sure every, you know, every I is dotted, every T is crossed, you know, you might, you might not be able to close. So that's where transaction coordination really comes comes in clutch and I would say if I wasn't a part of it then we possibly could have not closed. So you want to always be communicating with your seller what's going on you know before the deal closes and as well with your end buyer. Uh, at this point I was just talking to the realtor every day letting her know you know this is what we need or whatever the case may be but I would just say communicate with your title company make sure you get the documentation that you need and you should be fine but anyways thank you guys for following me again remember to subscribe hit that like button if you like this video follow me on the next one uh, so you can get the latest news and updates